good day everybody this is a small video just to familiarize you with the high flow nasal cannula therapy that is air work 2 so first of all we'll just go through the contents of the bag each bag will contain one set of tubings the tubings will contain the humidifier and the adapter which you require it to connect it to the machine also it will have the tube for the water bag as well then we have the nasal cannula by default we'll be placing one adult nasal cannula inside the bag next we have the disinfection tubing along with the machine covers the disinfection tubing is used for disinfection of the machine after use after that we have an additional air filter which is for replacement of the original air filter as well as the manuals for the machine one is the disinfection manual and the other is the manual for the equipment now next we will see how we are going to connect the humidifier first of all we take the humidifier and you will see that in the front portion there is a small notch you just wind out the uh, tube portion which needs to be connected to the water bag and then remove the cover that is on top that is the blue flap which you see on the top after that you connect the adapter over the top of the humidifier and secure it firmly just like as you see in the video you take the tube out and connect it to the machine such that the portion comes in front the indicated portion in the video comes in front so this is you how you go about connecting the humidifier inside the air vote tube once it is firmly placed uh, you will hear a click sound so that is the indication that it has been placed firmly next step would be to connect the tube to a water bag now in our conditions we do not have a water bag available in institution so for the time being what i have done is that i have taken an iv iv set i have uh, cleaned it thoroughly and taken some water inside so just make sure that you do not put saline inside the machine uh, use only sterile water for filling up the humidifier otherwise you can do that manually by removing the humidifier but each time when water again alarms comes you will have to remove the humidifier and fill it manually if a water bag can be obtained then that would be easy solution you just have to connect it and keep it posted there uh, as the water level inside the humidifier decreases the water will be automatically refilled inside the humidifier chamber so now this would be an ideal setting as to how the humidifier chamber needs to place you can see the water seeping down inside the humidifier bottle it automatically when it comes to that level there is a small float that is inside the humidifier it will automatically cut the water supply off now after connecting the water bag the next step would be to connect the tubings now as you can see that these are heated tubings and there is a small connection at the end of the tubing the tubing that the connection that you see here now there is a small connection corresponding with that on the machine as well so connect it in such a way that that connection coincides with the connection and it is secured firmly now once the tube is connected the next step would be to switch on the machine uh, it is connected to a power supply unit just make sure that there is a small power adapter uh, along with the unit uh, the machine can only be connected to our unit if that adapter is there so just so make sure that you don't miss the machine on once the power is turned on check plus the power key on the air machine before the load of ice machine on the first of all the machine will show the last disinfection period and finally the display will blink up showing the flow rate the fio2 values and the temperature and there will be a tick mark indicating that the machine is ready ready to use so once uh, this has come in now our next step would be to connect the nasal cannula so the cannula that you need to connect that can be selected based on your requirement and based on the flow that is required there is a small chart on top of the machine which will help you in selecting the cannula you can see two notches at the end of the tube corresponding to that in the cannula as well so connect it so that the notches uh, coincide with each other the cannula is connected so if you just place your hand at the end of the cannula you can actually feel the flow so that is an indication that it is uh, properly functional 
so now that since the tube is a heated tube there will be water condensation inside the tubings and the next step would be to connect the oxygen so as you saw earlier now that is the point where the input oxygen needs to be connected the other end of the oxygen would have to be connected to a flow meter now while connecting the flow meter just ensure that there is no water taken inside the humidifier bottle because if there is water it might damage the machine so just make sure there is no water inside the humidifier bottle and connect it to the uh, flow meter once the flow meter is connected now we will just look at briefly at the settings of how to set the machine now there are only three settings that is temperature uh, flow and uh, FiO2 now FiO2 you cannot set in the machine that is set based on the O2 fl the flow that is set in the flow meter the other two values are set in the machine now by clicking on the play button you can access all the settings once first time you click play you get the temperature settings the second time you click play you get the flow settings and the third time you click play you can see the FiO2 value now to change any settings press the up and down button together you will see that the setting will start to blink and the upper and the lower limit it would be displayed once that happens you can uh, select the desired value by clicking the up or down button once you select the values just click on the play button to confirm the same when you click on the play button you will see that a lock sign will appear which indicating that the setting has been completed now click on play button again and you select flow as mentioned earlier press the up and down buttons together the setting will start to blink using the up and the down buttons you can now set the desired flow and select play once that is played you can see the third setting coming up that is the auto saturation so as mentioned earlier the auto saturation cannot be set within the machine it has to be set by adjusting the flow of the flow meter so let's say now we need to set a flow of uh, 60 uh, that is uh, an FiO2 value of 60 so to get the FiO2 value of the setting 60 what you need to do is you keep the settings you keep the screen to the FiO2 screen and start increasing the flow once uh, you start increasing the flow you will see changes on the screen it, the FiO2 value will start to increase or decrease based on increasing or decreasing the flow now since our target value here is 60 we try to increase the flow slowly slowly so that the flow reaches 60 you can see that the flow is increasing gradually uh, uh, it will only be an approximation you cannot measure actually selected two point values so if it is between 40 and 50 uh, you can actually set it between 40 and 50 but you to select it at pinpoint values of 55 56 would be a bit difficult but still it is a way to ensure that the flow delivers an optimum FiO2 to the patient now the next step would be the disinfection of the machine so first of all before disinfection you need to turn off the machine so before turning off the machine the first step would be to cut off the oxygen to the machine so you turn the flow meter off so that the oxygen supply to the machine gets disconnected once the oxygen supply is disconnected press the play button press the power button for 5 seconds and the machine will turn off once uh, the machine turns off you remove the tubing as well as the humidifier from the unit uh, as mentioned earlier there is a dis disinfection tube that is supplied along with the machine which is uh, red in color the tubings as are also heated tubings and it will have a connector towards the end the tubings also indicate how it needs to be connected where the two ends need to be connected it is actually displayed on the tube itself so you just need to connect it as mentioned in the tube the connector end just take it up connect it and lock it firmly in place and the other end you connect it to the other point and seal the other one with the connector that is already available and then just switch on the machine when the machine is switched on it will automatically go into the disinfection mode you can actually see a red uh, a loading screen coming up it will be red in color and once it turns on it will automatically go into the disinfection mode showing you the disinfection timer 
now the process will take 55 minutes so once it is complete just make sure that you connect the tubings and uh, the disinfection is complete